God created the world in six days. The universe and all of its grandeur and beauty has been completed. We're ready to welcome Shabbos. But God says, wait, wait, wait. What? The world is incomplete. I have to create one last thing. The donkey's mouth. Wait till Saturday night. No. The world is not complete without the donkey's mouth. Why? Because in 2,488 years, there's going to be a Gentile by the name of Bilam, a moral failure, and I want to inspire him to mend his ways and to do tshuva. So I want to create something which may be able to have a positive and transformative impact on him. We often write off people. We say, this guy, eh, forget it. He's a pathological liar. He's an addict beyond repair. But this is what the Torah is teaching us. Don't spare any efforts to kindle a heart, to ignite a spark, to try to bring a human soul back to his or her true divine self. Bilam, who was not Jewish, who did not like the Jews, who had deep, deep moral failure, how much more so, infinitely more so, a Yiddish and a Shama that contains infinite divine power and potency. You and I could learn from God to be ready to change the world and get out of my own comfort zone. Even let my own donkey, the donkey inside of me, speak to save a soul from the abyss, to help a soul return to its father and mother in heaven. The Yeshiva.net